Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope everybody is doing well and welcome back to Lead Therapy and I really appreciate you taking your time tuning into my video. The ATF and FBI are monitoring gun owners who sell firearms using Facebook. Both the FBI and ATF conducted warrantless surveillance of a Texas man who said he had guns for sale in a Facebook post. According to internal documents, two ATF agents interviewed the man who admitted to advertising the guns were for sale on Facebook. He told the agents he had a habit of purchasing new guns, deciding he doesn't want them anymore, then offering them up for sale. The man further told agents he never made a profit from any of the sales. After surveilling the man for six months, the ATF wasn't able to uncover any evidence of a crime, but they still opted to turn his information over to the FBI. They were monitoring this guy for what millions of hobbyists do, selling part of their personal collection. That's not a crime. But apparently, ATF doesn't like people turning over guns at a high rate. Some of you may not know that something kind of similar to this happened to me a few years ago when I lived in Florida. The ATF contacted me about a firearm that was found in the hands of a convicted felon, which was a firearm that I sold legally at a face-to-face -face transfer at a gun show. And when I met with them, the questioning then turned south, and then they accused me of selling firearms for a profit without a license and actually wanted me to sign an ATF legal form and I didn't sign it. I was also told off the record that I could no longer sell firearms legally in the state of Florida in a face-to-face -face transfer that I could only sell firearms to an FFL. But it didn't say that in the paperwork. An ATF spokesperson confirmed the man was placed under daily monitoring by the FBI in 2021 of suspected violations of federal laws against straw purchases and selling firearms without a license. The heavily redacted records obtained by the GOA do not specify how the ATF became aware of the suspect's activities. When asked by reporters if Facebook tips off federal law enforcement about posts involving firearms, the ATF spokesperson declined to comment. Facebook's policy allows licensed gun dealers to sell weapons and ammunition provided they comply with all applicable laws and platform regulations. Sales between private individuals are not permitted. However, it doesn't make it a crime simply because Facebook doesn't allow it. Ultimately, the man's conduct did not violate any provisions under the 1968 Gun Control Act. He was exonerated by the ATF for allegations of making straw purchases, a term used to refer to the purchase of guns for individuals who otherwise would not pass. Federal background checks. The act specifically states that an individual does not need to be a licensed ATF gun dealer if they make occasional sales, exchanges, or purchases of firearms for the enhancement of a personal collection or hobby. And that's exactly what I did and was accused of selling firearms to make a profit without a license. I sold a firearm legally in the state of Florida in a face-to-face -face transfer at a gun show. Do not talk to the ATF at all unless you have a lawyer present. If they don't have a warrant, don't let them in your house. Because what they do is they play good cop, bad cop. And they will do everything that they can for you to incriminate yourself. Even though you've done nothing wrong. And even though this happened in 2021, you know this is continuing to happen all the time. And of course there's no reason for them to stop because nobody is holding them accountable. As always, I would really like to hear your thoughts about the video in the comment section down below. And I really do appreciate everybody's support with the channel. You guys are always crushing it by liking, sharing, and subscribing, and hitting those post notifications. It helps the channel out, and it helps the channel grow. And of course, I invite everybody back to see my next video.